For computer consulting in Los Angeles, call 213-261-3998. Hi everyone, my name is Brent Whitfield from Dependable Computer Guys, and we do computer consulting in the Los Angeles area. Today, I'm going to show you how to make fantastic screen snips with Windows 7. The cool thing about the Windows 7 screen snipping utility is that it's really fast and it's easy to use and you can use it to better communicate with your employees and colleagues because it, you can take parts of your screen, capture it, save it to a file or easily paste it into an email so as to make it easy to communicate with them. And I think the best thing about it is that it's free. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to jump out to the Windows 7 screen utility and I'm going to show you how to make a snip, how to annotate your snip using the highlighter, the pen, and the eraser. I'm going to show you how to save it and I'm going to show you how to email it. In order to find the free Windows screen snipping utility in Windows 7, just click on your start menu and type in the word snip. The first program that comes up is the snipping tool. Click on it and when you launch it, it will go into screen capture mode. It kind of grays out the screen and you click and drag the area of the screen that you want to snip. When you let go, it pulls up the handy snipping tool utility and lets you make save it or whatever. I'm going to show you today how to annotate it. For example, if I wanted to communicate to my team that I wanted to highlight this area, I can do that kind of neat. There's also a eraser in case you make a mistake. You can hit the eraser, make it a little bit smoother. There's actually a pen that allows you to write on the snip in your handwriting. Which is kind of neat. And when you're done, you can mail it, or email it, or you can save it. I'm going to talk about saving first. When you go to save it, it gives you three formats, PNG, GIF, and JPEG. I recommend the PNG because it's scalable and it works with just about everything these days. If in doubt, JPEG's a pretty safe bet. So just name it and save it. The feature I like best, though, is when I'm emailing it, I like to click Edit copy and that copies the snip along with the annotations and allows you to jump into say another program and paste it. If you wanted to paste it into your email you'd simply create an email message and paste it. So it works really well for quick screenshots sending to colleagues and friends. Finally, uh, the last thing you can do is using the email drop-down, you can actually just send it as an attachment. And it launches your mail client and sends it as a, as a JPEG. So there's three ways that you can handle the snipped images with that tool. If you're ready to make a second snip, you just hit New. Come out here and highlight the area that you want and snip it. After you've done hot annotating it, you can send it. There you go. So you've learned today how to find the tool in the by searching for the word snip in your Windows Start menu, how to make a snip, how to annotate it with the highlighter and the pen, and how to save your snip, and how to email your snip. I hope you enjoyed the utility and that you'll be able to make good use out of the Windows 7 screen snipping utility. And if you have the need or desire to get great computer consulting in the greater Los Angeles area, Pasadena, or the Valley, just give us a call at 213-261-3998. For computer consulting in Los Angeles, call 213-261-3998.